see me pop up on your notifications. Um, yeah, my volume wasn't working and I had a horrible feeling my microphone had died, but I had it on mute. I don't know why I had it on mute. Maybe I was muting something. Who knows? Anyway, we're all back and running now and I believe the volume is working. Oh gosh, it is. Yes. Def, volume is definitely working now so all good new technology sometimes you need to uh, have a few reboots anyway so uh, here we are today um, I think if you are on Facebook you would have seen my event that I popped up early this morning um, this card sort of just well, didn't just appear in my head overnight it sort of it grew out of a, a couple of uh, recent classes that I've got um, those of you who do my fun fold classes will realize that the month before last was a easel based class and this month I've featured a couple of gate folds so laying in bed this morning I thought why not let's see if we can combine those two and do something really over the top um, and hopefully you will um, enjoy what you see done today even though it is a bit it's a bit bonkers. Um, I'm going to be featuring the beautiful balloons bundle in this card plus the designer series paper and some bling as well. Uh, I'm purpose, very purpose, purposefully and quite cynically using this bundle a fair bit this month because I want to, uh, want to uh, convince as many of you to purchase this bundle and pop along to our stamp camp which um, I just launched this morning and um, we're actually going to be taking um, uh, uh, taking names for that all through July and the stamp camp itself is going to be on the 12th of August. It's going to be an all-day event uh, with 10 cards. Um, Jan Casey and I are designing five cards, cards each, We're going to um, do some pre-recorded videos and some live crafting on the day on the 12th of August in a private Facebook group. So, um, yeah, so if you want to see the details, how you um, manage to get yourself a, position, a place in that, please pop over to my Facebook page. If you're on my newsletter uh, mailing list, um, there's details about that in my newsletter this month as well. So anyway, it's going to be great. So hopefully with a couple of cards with this particular bundle, I will convince you to um, purchase it and pop along. Uh, and also I am, um, if you're watching from the States or somewhere outside Australia, if you're keen to get involved on the day, um, I, will, I will sell the PDF and, in, um, PDF and video links to the cards plus access to the Facebook group um, to um, interstate or overseas customers. Obviously I can't sell you um, product but um, I can definitely get you that sort of uh, um, the the pdf and the in and the videos okay so just before we get started I have a couple of things some exciting stuff that we've just learned about um, and I will show you we have return of a very popular now why aren't you doing that there you go go up Return a very popular promotion, our bonus days promotion starts on the 6th of July. Basically what happens if you shop online with me, you earn, um, you sell, you buy $90 worth of product, uh, you earn a $9 coupon to basically, now why aren't you staying up there? You earn a $9 coupon to redeem in August. So that's the um, bonus days. Obviously, if you sit, if you buy one hundred and eighty dollars worth in one one order, you get eighteen dollars. So it's for every multiple of ninety dollars. It actually runs for the whole month, so um, you can earn coupons all month and you can redeem them in August. So that's a really good deal for anyone who's um, looking to uh, place an order in July. Uh, also, I have um, my VIP club for my fun fold classes um, I try to sort of cap that at 30 people and a lady um, uh, has taken a bit of a break from that so I do have a spot in my VIP club if anyone would like to pop into that you basically pay for five fun fold classes and get the sixth for free so that's a really good way of um, making sure you don't miss out on my fun fold classes if you're a regular um, user a regular participant Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you there. Remember, bonus days and there's a spot in the fun fold. And I can see a lot of people jumping on, so that's really great. And I'll pop on and have a look at the uh, comments at the end. So um, oh, one more thing, fun, speaking of fun folds, this is this month's fun fold class. 
Uh, it was going to be a focus on gatefolds, um, but the little uh, bookbinding card here um, jumped in and sort of ruined the, the lovely symmetry, symmetry that I had planned. Um, so we have two gatefolds instead of three. Um, this one is a drop down, oh, got to have it up the right way, a drop down gatefold. So there we are. That's a, something a little bit unusual. Haven't done one of those for a while. And it has a belly band. And you'll probably see where this pops up in the next card as well, where the inspiration came from. This is an unusual one. I've never seen this one before. They call this one a tuck in gatefold card. So the gate is actually tucked in behind there. And when it opens up, it sits up like that. So that's really quite cute. It looks a bit like a flying seagull when it's looking at it that way, but it's slightly different. But anyway, so that's a tucked in gatefold card. There we are. And again, you'll notice I'm using the um, beautiful balloons. And this little guy snuck in from popular demand. It's a bookbind card as well. So that's the three cards for July's uh, Funfold class if you'd like to get involved in that. And as I say, I have a spare spot in my... Um, VIP club if you would like to grab that okay so this is our card for today and it just it just grew into wait till you see all the bits and pieces I've cut for this it is a gate card it's actually a drop down gate card as you can see so there that's the inspiration from this little guy inspiration I got from the start of it from this little guy here our drop down gatefold from the fun fold class but I thought that's a bit boring so the drop down hides an easel so there you are so it's a what did I call it a drop down gatefold easel card so yeah just got a little bit crazy this morning when I was thinking about it so you can see it's combining the gatefolds and the easel cards yeah, I don't go very far for my inspiration, but there we are. And we're using the um, beautiful balloons bundle as well. Um, the belly band even got a little bit out of control, it's a bit like my belly, <laughs> an out of control belly and an out of control belly band. Um, so I've used, it's quite a substantial belly band there as well. So um, it needs to be because it is quite a substantial card when it's, um, when it's folded like that. So let's get starting. So I designed, proof that I designed this one this morning is that I've got my um, my construction paper here and you can see that I've got all the measurements and things written on it from when I was designing it this morning. Um, basically, yeah, I, I suggest you don't, and I'll pop all the measurements up, so don't worry too much about that. There's a fair few layers and things happening. Um, I suggest you don't use um, design series paper here that you don't want to use like if you're trying to save it forever and ever I wouldn't suggest starting it off with this one it uses quite a lot of designer series paper it also uses quite a lot of cardstock so if you're um, running out of a particular color of cardstock I probably would get your order your stocks replenished before you start this one um, I was going to I wanted to use blue um, black um, blueberry bushel for the main color but um, I ran out during the week due to the cutting the fun fold class so I had to go to um, uh, misty moonlight instead so here we go this is I'm going to show you all the bits that I've cut this morning to go in this card we've got that we've got that we should count them and that and that and there's our belly band obviously there's a bit of a sentiment box there's a paper there there's a couple of balloons there's a bit of that here's our little easel coming out now so there's a fair bits of that then you get all your layers happening. Now we've got layers and layers and layers and layers and layers. And I won't get these out, but there's balloons in there as well. So, yeah, that's basically the whole craft room happening just there. So, anyway, let's pop it all together and you'll see how it comes together. So, anyway, didn't want to freak you out, but I just wanted to show you. Um, yeah, don't, don't uh, use the last sheet of your favourite colour or you will run out. Okay, so let's start with the, the basic um, gate, drop-down gate. Now, this is um, Misty Moonlight, as I mentioned. It's uh, eight by five and a half and it's scored at two and six, just to give that normal gate there. Now, to bring, down, to bring in the um, drop-down aspect, I have my Lemon Lolly. And that is going to sit inside like that. 
So it is a from memory 10 and 3 quarters by 3 and 7 eighths wide and it's scored in the middle as well so that sort of drops down there so i might add that first the more pieces the more bits and pieces we can get gone the better it'll be um, so i suggest before you even start that you burnish this and this is if you're making any drop down card or if you're doing my fun fold class later in the month burnish that score so that it is razor sharp if you run your finger along it, you'll get a paper cut because if that doesn't drop down sharply, um, then the whole thing's going to collapse backwards because it's not particularly uh, balanced, probably because it's got so much stuff. Anyway, so we're just going to pop some glue on the back of that and it comes in onto the back, onto the middle of the fun fold of the gate. And we just sort of centre that as best we can. And for this particular one, because we're going to be decorating the stage, I suppose if you wanted to call it the stage, line that up with the bottom of your card as best you can so that when it does flip open, it sits flat on the floor, on the bench, because you don't want that with a lean because then your, your easel will have a lean as well. So we don't like the leany, leany, leany easels. Try saying that ten times quickly. Okay, so that's our, that's the basics of a, a, a gatefold, drop down gatefold. Let's um, jazz it up a little bit. We've got some la other layers of lemon lolly, loving lemon lolly. Come into the tongue, twi tongue twisters today, loving the lemon lolly colour. It's just such a bright, but not in your face um, lemon yellow so these are for the sides so I'm going to you're actually sort of decorating the whole the whole gate in this case because unlike many cards the star of the show is actually inside to a great degree and that's what shows when it's on display so there we are again. As I say, I will pop the measurements for all these layers. I mean, basically, logically, this is a two inch wide. The gates are two inches wide, so we're taking it down an eighth of an inch every layer. Um, two inches would be, what, two and a half centimetres, and we're taking it down three mil each time. Okay, so that's both sides. Then I've got some of the... Um, bright and beautiful designer series paper so this is the paper that goes with the bundle if you join um, stamp camp you'll get a packet of this paper amongst other things you get a packet of this paper as part with your joining as for your joining fee you get a packet of paper some bling and some ribbon so i'm going to pop the bubble bubble side up on the inside because it's just so bright and cheery as i say the inside is the star of the show to a certain degree. Are you down at Orford, are you, Tammy? I'm assuming that's Tammy um, from Orford. Nice to have you on from your second home. What's the weather like down there? It's really drizzly and dark here. I've got several lights on more than usual okay so there we are so that's the two sides it's already getting a fair bit of um girth happening but anyway there we go um okay what's next there's so much what's next okay let's flip it closed and we'll do the front since we're doing these strips so i've got two more strips of lemon lolly and two more strips of DS designer series paper shouldn't call it DSP that's a very it's a particular I suppose occupational slang for demonstrators for designer series paper people often say what's DSP remember when I forget to not abbreviate it okay so there's two more layers on the front 
this is this card's a bit like me in winter sort of adding the layers and never sort of shedding them okay when it's say my two boys are in their mid to late 20s and I'm pretty sure I still have a fair bit of that baby fat on oh I don't know how you could get away with that but anyway all good Okay, so I'm using design series paper on the other side, but I'm going to use the sort of lemon lolly stripes on the outside, which is just the other side of the bubbles. So it's just, oh, that one's that way. Oops, I don't want that one that way. I'm going to have to cut myself another piece because that one is up and down, uh, up and down, and this one's side by side. That's not going to work. I'll cut, I'll cut a piece that's, oh, can I? Oh no. Okay. Thinking on my feet, I'm going to cover that with the up and downy one and then cut another uppy downy one from this piece here, which isn't actually long enough to cut the other way. There we go. So you didn't see that. That's the uppy down. They're always meant to be uppy down. I'll cut another uppy down right here. So it's uh, that's two, two inches. To, one and two, one and three quarters by five and a half, five and a quarter. There we go. Always meant to be. Miserable in Orford too. I suppose it's not that far away really, which is really nice. Do you feel like you're on holidays when you go down there? I mean, you know, is that your get a, you know getting away from it type place? I assume it is. If you guys head down there at the weekends and stuff. Okay, so there's the front sort of done. Okay, so it's getting quite thick now. Okay, so there's there's a lot of the the. Um, middle done so we've got two panels of white so I've got one here it's going to sit on the back and then basically we've got ourselves except for the belly band we've got ourselves a fairly standard drop down gatefold card and we can start on our cute little easel <laughs> Never mistakes. No, of course it wasn't. It's just a slight detour on the way to creativity. Wow. Okay, so there is our bottom one as well. Um, if you've got a little strip of paper left over, I love putting a little strip of paper there. Um, yeah, just to sort of bring the usually the cut the, the, the pattern from the outside into the inside. Okay, so we might pop that bit away for a wee while and we'll bring in our cute little easel. We'll do that bit next. So the little easel is uh, seven inches, or well, the base of the easel is seven inches by two and three quarters. And I've scored it at three and a half and one and three quarters. I think that's what I did. Yes, anyway, as I say, all the measurements will be up eventually. So that's our little, that's the base of our easel there. And then I've got a top piece, which is um, two and three quarters by three and a half. There we go. I just need to look at my little template, don't I? Because I've got all the measurements there. So just to make our easel, we're going to pop some glue on that little bottom half of the base and line up our little, the actual easel part, the front facing easel. I'm sure there's technical names for each of the parts of easels, base of the easel. The, anyway, one day I'll look it up. And that is our little easel card there. So let's decorate it. So again, I'm going to layer it up with some lemon lolly, as I say. Yeah, I think I needed at least two pieces, two A4 pieces of the lemon lolly with little bits left over, of course, but there was definitely two pieces there. And, um, yeah, most of a full, just, yeah, over a full piece of mid and, uh, misty moonlight, <clears throat> especially with the belly band and things. And then, um, yeah, lots of designer series paper. 
I thought this one would be good for a, a child, actually, with all the fun balloons. I thought it would be really cute. So anyway, there we go. So that's the bottom. I'm going to pop some designer series paper on the bottom of our fun, of our um, easel just here just to give it a bit of colour. So this is also from the um, Bright bright and Beautiful. It's the, It's got little stars on one side and a little sort of rainbow of colours on the other. The colours in this um, bundle are amazing. They're all of lots of our returning and new colours. The Lemon Lolly's new, Misty Moonlight's returning, the Berry, Berry Burst is returning, Lemon Lime Twist is returning. Yeah, so lots of our new returning, new and returning colours if you'd like to, you know, play with those so that's part of our easel okay so what we might do now is oh now let me think do I want to pop it in now or want to decorate it first I might decorate it first okay so that's our little easel so what's going to happen when I'm finished decorating it I will put the little drawbridge down position the um, easel so obviously because it's got to flip up inside the card you can't have it overlapping that end at that edge or that edge or the front or the back so it needs to basically fit within the footprint of that little stage okay so there I like it at an angle rather than straight that's just that's how I how I roll although looking at it straight it's quite pretty as well I don't know maybe I'll do this one straight because I definitely did the other one at an angle We'll do this one straight and then you guys can tell me which way you prefer. But anyway, so that's what you're, you're looking to do. Okay, so let's decorate this little guy. Okay, so as I mentioned, I have already die cut, uh, stamped and die cut some balloons from the from the stamp set. I've got quite a few here. I um, had a bit of a play with my scan and cut this morning. So these have actually been cut with my scan and cut machine rather than multiple passes of my embossing machine which I thought was really good and it was once I'd set it up it just went for it it was great so yeah so it was yeah really really good so yeah for multiples I think I'll definitely be using the scan and cut a bit into the future um yeah so I've got what have I got I think I've got 10 you know one two, I don't know what I've got anyway two lemon lime twist two um, Misty Moonlight, two Berry Burst and three of the um, Lemon Lolly. And then I've got the little um, uh, strings in um, in uh, uh, Misty Moonlight as well. So let's get these together. So I basically just wanted to have on this little easel just a huge bunch of um, a huge bunch of balloons looking like it was sort of suspended in midair. So I'm going to pop most of these on here and I'm going to sort of overlap the edge as much as is wise now this is where I got caught when I did the first one because I went over the edge too far on one side so I might actually keep that there very carefully while I arrange these balloons just because I don't want if trying to fold it up with that so if I pop that there and it's overlapping that would get squished up when um you know, when the card's folded and I did that on one of the others. So let's do this. Though I do want them overlapping a wee bit. I'm just going to pop these trying to sort of make it look as sort of natural as a bunch of balloons can let's see what I did let's make sure I get the same sort of there yeah, that's what I did with the other one so let's see see if we can do that roughly Just 
forgive me while I sort of concentrate. I need to leave one of the um, yellow ones that's going to be my little easel foot. So I need to leave that out and not use it. Hmm. A few more here than I thought. and lots and lots of balloons and which what what child out there wouldn't love a huge bunch of balloons like that and then I'm going to bring in my little string now again I can't go off the bottom obviously so it just has to sort of waft off to the side a bit so I might rotate him a bit so he looks like he's headed that way just forgive me there we are and then the little string can come off to the edge to the side But he just set off my oh, Stevie home. Stevie's home. He's been swimming and things this morning. So there's our our bunch of balloons there. There we go. Okay. So as I say, I want this one. This is going to be my little foot. So I'm going to grab the yay yay you. There we are. This little yay you from the stamp set. And my Misty Moonlight ink. And I'm going to pop him. So he's going to sit on the bottom, on the foot, the bottom of the easel there. Phew, I nearly went over with that one. See how close that is to the edge? I wonder if I, if I rotate it. Yeah. Anyway, just thinking backwards. This one's going to be our little easel foot. So I'm going to sit him on there with the yay you on him and um, some dimensionals underneath. So he gives the, the easel some sturdiness. Dimensionals, dimensionals, here they are. Pop some dimensionals on there. And then we can put the easel into the centre of the stage. Here we are. Well, that's our little easel is going to stay up like that. Okay. So we'll just lay that flat. Pop some glue on the back. That glue's about gone. And we can sit that on the center make sure I don't go over the edge there and that's on there like that here we are we leaned him too far back then there we are so that's the, the centre of our, our huge card. So that's going to come up in the side like that. As you can see, I haven't popped any too far out to the side and then it closes over like that. I suppose if you wanted to go all out, you could probably pop some paper or something on that the front of that one. But since it's going to sit on the floor, on the ground, it's probably not too much of an issue. Okay, so that's so far so good. So that's our drop down easel. It does need a belly band. So let's do the belly band. And so I'm using other parts of the bundle for our belly band. I've got a strip of Misty Moonlight cardstock. It's, it's about eight and three quarters long. I haven't really measured it, but it's quite long and I've scored it from one end. So what I do when something's quite substantial is this, I just link that score around one side and then I'll manually work out 
the, the fold that it needs on the other side. Take it back a wee bit because it needs to slip comfortably up and down. So that's, I think that will be our belly band. So I'll just glue that. I mean, it has to be firm, but it can't be too tight, obviously, because it's um, it needs to slip off and not wreck your beautiful card. Okay, so that's the band piece of the belly band. Let's decorate that a bit too. I have another piece of the designer series paper. This is the stars one. That's the one I used on the base of the, um, the base of the easel. I'm going to use. I think I decided to use the stars again. So these are both uh, three and three and a half square. So it's quite a substantial sized belly band or decoration. So I'm going to pop that. These are both the same size, so there's no border showing out. I'm just really using the lemon lolly underneath just to make this a bit sturdier. Obviously, it needs to stand up to being pushed in and out pushed up and down, I meant, um, in and out. don't know where that came from. I reminded myself of my grandmother when I said that. She had that sort of plummy accent. Okay, so that's um, just nice and sturdy now. Then I've got a piece of, and then this would be three and a quarter, yeah, three and a quarter square. And I've taken, um, die cut the composite balloons from the die set. It's, um, I haven't shown you the die set, but um, obviously got lots of balloons but it's got this sort of one that's three balloons all all in one so I've just used that to cut out the very first we're not going to use the balloons themselves we're just going to use this as a, like a little window and it's going to sit in it's going to sit in the middle of our designer series paper like that and I'm going to stamp it with the happy birthday from the stamp set really cool happy birthday it sort of begs to be stamped sideways almost. Um, so I'm going to do exactly that and stamp it on onto the designer series paper through the window. There we are. And I've got the window in place so I could position it properly. And oh, I've missed something. I've missed something from the easel, that little um, sentiment box I was going to pop on. Anyway, I'll do that in a second. Okay, so dimensional city here. There's my big ones there. So I'm going to pop multiple dimensionals because that's the new me. I'm not afraid of dimensionals. But I am afraid of wasting money, so I'm not going to go too crazy. But anyway, so I'm going to use larger ones as much as I think I can. And then for the smaller gaps, I'll bring in some mini dimensionals there, just where the big ones are too big. There we are. Let's just get rid of the backings of those. I tell you what, since I've decided that I'm going to use more dimensionals. I have so many of these little backings. I'm going to have to get the vacuum cleaner out today. I always have some, but oh my goodness. It's like it's been snowing inside in here. Okay, that's that. Oh, that's stuck to my finger. Okay, so let's pop that back in place. there so it's just raised up a wee bit then just to you know make it even busier I've got another couple of balloons die cut so I'm going to pop one off to the side there that's in lemon lime twist and another little guy just down here just to be totally over the top so I'll pop some dimensionals in here making sure I don't go over my sentiment too much. And this little guy just needs some glue. Okay. 
There we are. So that's sort of like the the buckle of my belly band. So let's pop that on. I might pop it on first, will I? Still got to put that sentiment on the inside. I'm going to pop it that way. Yeah, what I was saying about being firm, that's quite firm. Here we are. Okay, belly band. And then I'm going to just add some, going to add some glue to, no, I'm going to take it off. I'll take it off. It'll at least lay flat when I take it off. Add some glue just to here. Position our belly band, our um, decoration over the top. Sort of central and in the middle if you can not no great trauma really here we are so that's that's its buckle buckle of my belly band and i will pop some bling on there just while i just while i've got it off right. so this is the um tinsel gems four pack which is another thing that you'll get in your for your um, entry fee to stamp camp this is the bling well obviously there'll be more to it than this i won't take half of them off you'll get the tinsel tinsel gem four pack as part of your entry fee i'm just going to pop some of these down and around just these are the berry burst ones here we are. So that's the front. That's our belly band made. I was going to do a sentiment on here, and that's why I had this little strip of white cardstock. I was just going to pop a little sentiment on there. And I was going to use the it's think it's time for a celebration in my again in my misty moonlight. Now, I think it has to be about three quarters of an inch high, so I'm going to trim that down a wee bit. I just don't want it to be a huge bulky sentiment. It just needs to be just enough and no more, so I'll trim that down. That piece of cardstock's a tiny bit big. That's better. And I'll trim the end a bit. So I am going to banner one end with my banner punch. Gosh, I've used so many, so many things in this one. So I put banner at one end. There we are. Now my first um instinct would be to dimensional that um put that on dimensionals but i think there's enough girth in there to um to not add any more so i'm going to just glue it there we are but i think that adds to that little easel a bit it was a bit plain before so there we are i think it's time for a celebration yay you on the inside you could pop something else on there but i mean you really need somewhere to write so that's probably where you're going to write closes down closes down closes down closes down where's my belly band gone here is this the one yep and our belly band holds it all together which is the theory. I have made that a wee bit tight, unfortunately. If I open it up all the way, it should be okay. Come on, Julianne. There we are. And there's our belly band at front. So that is my card today. So that's my, I'm going to copyright that one. I've called it a drop down gatefold easel card. And that's, uh, yeah, that's that's what I spent my morning 
in bed thinking about this morning because it was too cold to get out. So I hope you like that one. I, I think one day I'll have a challenge. If you're watching my Facebook page and I'm feeling particularly brave and lacking inspiration, I might put out a challenge that you can give me two fun fold types and then give me some time. I'll see if I can combine them. So obviously this time I've combined the drop-down gatefold and the easel. Have a bit of a think about two fun folds that you'd like me to try and um, and um, and combine maybe in a future video. Let's uh, let's see how 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 it would go. That's incredible. Okay, what's yeah? It's cute. All right, so that's my card for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Went a little bit longer than normal, but I suppose there's a there's actually two cards in there, isn't there? When you think about it. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed that one. So that one is straight on the card there and this one is at an angle. So I don't know which one you prefer, straight, I think, I don't know. So straight or at an angle? I don't think it's, it's not a deal breaker, is it, by any stretch? But it sort of looks cute. I think this one looks like it's just sort of been popped there, like, you know, somebody just had an easel card and they just dumped it <laughs> inside. Anyway. There we are. So that's my cards for today. Hopefully you like those. And as I say, challenge me. Can you think of two fun folds and I'll try and put them into the one card? That might give me something inspiration-wise next time I'm running out of ideas. Okay, so remember bonus day starts on the 6th of July. I've got a spare spot in my fun fold class if you would like to jump in and save some money on fun folds. If you find yourself doing them every month anyway, you might as well. And, um, yeah, so have a great uh, weekend. It is Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, Saturday. Have a great weekend and I'll see you all again um, next week. Okay, bye, guys.